The English Footprint, Colonial Legacy in Asia. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we are diving deep into the spread of English in Asia, particularly through colonialism. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of why certain Asian countries have English as an official language today. Let's explore the lasting impact of colonialism and how it shaped the language landscape of Asia. Colonialism refers to the practice of a powerful country taking control over another territory, influencing its economics, politics, and culture, often for their own benefit. In the context of English, it's the expansion of the British Empire that brought the English language to many parts of the world. Asia, being rich in resources and strategic in location, became a major target for European powers. The British Empire was particularly influential here. Colonizing parts of Asia not only provided Britain with valuable resources but also strategic ports for trade and military advantage. 1. India, arguably the most prominent example. British rule lasted for about 200 years. Today, India recognizes English as an associate official language, and it is used extensively in business, education, and administration. 2. Pakistan. Originally a part of British India, Pakistan also has a legacy of English usage. It serves as one of the country's official languages. 3. Singapore. A major port and colony. Singapore was under British rule from the 19th century till the mid-20th century. English is one of the four official languages, playing a vital role in administration, business, and education. 4. Malaysia. Known as British Malaya, it was a set of states on the Malay Peninsula and the island of Borneo. English is still used widely in legal, trade, and other formal contexts. 5. Philippines. Though it was a Spanish colony for over 300 years, the Philippines was ceded to the U.S. in 1898 and was under American rule for almost 50 years. This American period introduced English, which today remains one of the official languages. 6. Sri Lanka, then Ceylon, was under British rule from the late 18th century to the mid-20th century. English today is an official and link language, bridging the linguistic gap between the Sinhala and Tamil communities. In most of these countries, English has become an instrument of upward mobility. It is often associated with better educational and job opportunities. While it's true that English proficiency can open doors, it's equally crucial to remember the colonial history understand the dynamics, and respect native languages and cultures. And there you have it, the English language's intriguing journey in Asia. It's fascinating to see how historical events shape the present. We hope this video provided you with valuable insights into the spread of English in Asia. Always remember, learning a language is not just about words, but also about understanding its rich history and culture. Until next time, happy learning!